I'm extremely proud to be the dean at Chase College of Law. Well, I came to Chase. I chose Chase. I was interested in coming to Chase. At Chase, I teach a variety of classes. Chase was by far the best. I went to uh, Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles undergrad. I studied uh, accounting there. I always intended to go on to law school, but that seemed like a good uh, background to go into law school with. And then I um, attended Yale Law School and um, graduated from there. After graduating from law school, I um, practiced, as I said, mainly in the civil rights area in different environments. In the first one, I worked in the Department of Justice in the voting section, enforcing the Voting Rights Act. Then I went to a, um, a, a large law firm in San Francisco. I did a little bit of corporate work and also did some pro bono work, again, uh, working in the voting rights field. And then I ended up going to a nonprofit, the Mexican American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, and I was there the um, program director for voting rights, which means that I was involved both in lobbying efforts and also in litigation. And so um, when I went in, onto the market to look at teaching, Chase had an opening for someone who taught civil procedure, which is my other great interest, and also environmental law. And so it sort of worked out perfectly for both of us. And so I came and now teach, um, I guess I've taught six different environmental classes while at Chase. Environmental law is a, um, is a dynamic field at this time for a number of different reasons. One certainly is uh, what's happening with the climate change area. Um, environmental law can address that in a number of different ways, looking at promotion of renewable energy sources, different policies that can help um, renewable energy um, take a greater foothold in our economy, looking at regulation of greenhouse gases and greenhouse gas emissions. Um, in addition, there are other areas that are almost always topical, uh, water treatment and, and um, assuring that we have clean water. Another reason or another way that environmental laws have changed dramatically is just keeping up with new science and new understanding of uh, what's going on basically on the planet in the environment. In most, usually about three out of four of the environmental courses that I teach are four out of five. Uh, we begin class by I ask them, I ask my students, uh, have, do you know of any news in the environmental field? And so we often spend 10 to 15 minutes talking about recent developments, recent um, understandings of what's going on in the environmental field. So that's one way to keep, keep ourselves grounded in what's going on in the outside world. Uh, similarly, I, um, and I, I let my students know that this resource is available to them. I daily go through the environmental updates. There's a um, service that's available through our library and that tells us both what's sort of going on in terms of the science of the field, but also what the changes are in the law, what new statutes are being passed in Congress, what new re regulations are being considered, and what new precedents, what new decisions courts are coming out in the field. I've been to um, conferences at the University of Oxford in, in um, the UK. I've been to conferences in um, Berlin and also in Sweden, um, meeting with experts from around the world about what they're uh, looking at and what I've been looking at and sharing ideas and thoughts about how to help promote um, uh, various approaches to help address the problems of climate change. I'm extremely proud to be the dean at Chase College of Law. Well, I came to Chase. I chose Chase. I was interested in coming to Chase. Chase was by far the best.